contestant number four. Toastmaster Shiva. S D F. S D F. Toastmaster Shiva. Last December, on a beautiful Sunday evening, I was anxiously waiting for her in Starbucks. I switched my selfie camera. Hair, tick. Shirt, tick. Me, romantic. I was very nervous, anticipating the worst to happen because of past three rejections I had. I knew she had arrived as all the three guys on the other table said, wow, as she smiled and waved towards me. One of them almost cried. This guy, how? Contest chair, fellow Toastmasters. I know I'm an SDF, short, dark, and fat. But does that mean I'm inferior to others and I don't deserve a beautiful girl in my life? Why have I been judged ever since I was a child? Let me tell you my story. I fell in love for the first time when I was in class five with Parachuri, Veera, Venkateshwara, Sri, Sailashwara, Sindhu. In short, PV Sindhu. She was as long as her name. Now, you might have seen people not talking to each other because of opinion difference. I and Sindhu never spoke to each other because of height difference. I stood in the front row during the assembly. She stood in the last row. I sat on the front bench, not because I was bright, but because I was short. She sat on the last bench with Chandu. Chandu became her best buddy without a fight because of his height. Now, Chandu, Sindhu. Sindhu, Chandu. Chin, chin, chin. I wanted to be tall like Chandu and become her best buddy. So I went home and asked my mom to feed me Complan. In her love, I drank so much Complan that she grew even taller and I remained same. I could not see Chandu and Sindhu together. Out of desperation, I went to Sindhu and I asked, Sindhu, will you be my best friend? To which she said, Shiva, Chandu is my best buddy because he's tall like me. You are too short. We won't look good together. She pulled my cheeks and said, you're like my tiny brother. Brother. And that was my first rejection. Years passed and I dared to fall in love again in class 10 after estimating my strengths with the shortest, with the fairest girl in my class, Parvati. Now, Shiva, Parvati. Parvati, Shiva. Oh, yo, yo, such a cute pair. Everything was going good until one day when the class teacher asked, what do you want to become in your life, students? Just to impress Paro, I said, ah, yes, I want to be an IS officer, ma'am. My friend Rajesh interrupted and said, Shiva, you're already an IS. I said, how? That idiot said, you are invisible after sunset. I, A, S. The entire class laughed, including Paro. That day, I went home and did what most dark guys do. Steal fair and from sister's back and started applying it. After six months, there was a visible change in the price of fair and lovely, not in my color. After a few days, I got another opportunity to impress Paru because I was selected to play the role of Lord Krishna in annual decade due to obvious reasons. I thought people will paint me at least blue. They said, no, you're naturally Krishna because of your color. I, I didn't get disheartened because Radha was being played by Paru. After this kid, people applauded for her chemistry. With this confidence and broad on shoulders, I went to Paru and said, Paru, will you be my Radha in real life too? To which he said, Shiva, you're a good girl, but you're too dark. People will make fun of us as black and white couple. Listening to this, my already broken heart broke into a million dark pieces. After this incident, I never looked at any girl. I never dared to fall in love again until Sarita came into my college bus. Soon, we became classmates, benchmates, one-sided heartmates. She was a fitness freak and loved fit guys. She always insisted me to get fitter. One day, when we were talking, she asked me, Shiva, what game do you play? I said, football. 
and football champion. My friend Sai interrupted and said, "She was such a football freak. She carries football wherever he goes." I said, "Where is it?" That idiot shook my belly and said, "See, such a big football." I was planning to propose her and lost all the confidence. I decided I will propose her only after getting fitter. To my surprise, a month later she introduced me to Arjun, her boyfriend and gym mate. Arjun, Sarita, Sarita, Arjun. Cha, cha. On our first encounter, Arjun said, "Thank God, Shiva, you're fat, and she has fallen for me. Else she really likes and talks about you." That day. i was rejected even before proposal i know being an sdf is really pathetic and all these instances flashed in front of my eyes and there she was sitting in front of me in starbucks her voice was like music to my ears when she said thank god you finally called me on a date now don't take another year to propose me else i would have to do that i could not believe my ears she indirectly proposed me i asked her do you really love me and SDF, short, dark, and fat. To which she said, "Yes, Mr. SDF, I love you." So you might be short, but that's cute about you. You might be dark, but that makes you charming. You might be fat, but that's funny about you. And that's the reason, baby, I love you. My dear friends, that day I realized that I was considering myself to be ugly because of few rejections I had. Time up, please pause the device. Uh, i don't know what happened but i dropped i'm sorry for that <coughs> can i start yeah from where you have dropped please start from there that day i realized i was beautiful in my own ways ladies and gentlemen are you too an sdf or do you have any other concerns about your appearance and looks remember you are beautiful in your own ways all you have to do is to just embrace it i embraced it and i found my love and most importantly i found the beautiful me what about you contest chair <laughs>